Right there everybody. Here we just have an unbranded five pin rim cylinder. No identification on it. Uh, the five driver pins are just standard drivers. The five key pins are all serrated with a single serration. And there's also five wafers uh, master pins in there. So they reckon these master pin locks <laughs> supposedly are easy to pick. Well I got several of these and I ain't picked one of them yet so obviously I'm not parting my hair on the right side of my head or something because I'm stuffed if I can pick them. This is the only one that I've been able to pick. So uh, yeah I've already stripped it down and, and uh, checked out what pins are in it. The old plug's a bit a bit clunky. There's no key for it. Again, with most of my locks, I don't get keys with them because of where they come from. And uh, they're probably aged. So uh, I'm figuring if ever I get new locks, <laughs> they're going to be a piece of cake to pick after these. <laughs> yeah, even though these <coughs> master pin locks are supposed to give you a bucket load of shear lines, but, oh, I do believe I've got it already. <laughs> well, how about that? Yeah, as I was saying, with the bucket load of shear lines you're supposed to have in these things, I don't seem to find any shear lines. But that's the first one I've ever been able to pick with the uh, master pins. <laughs> okay, uh, I bought some of this just while I'm here. I bought some of this Starrett feeler stock the other day. <coughs> 28 thou. I thought it's probably time I <laughs> improved on these steak knives. Although, these have served me extraordinarily well. Uh, I never use my bought picks. I'm always using the steak knife picks. But I thought, well, perhaps I should make them look a bit, a bit more presentable. So I'm starting to make them out of this feeler stock. The handle, again, is just heat shrink tubing, uh, which I apply first. Then I open the end and stuff one of these polar bar sticks down there, cut it off at the right length and stuff a polar, bit, polar bar stick down each side <laughs> for the handle, sticking them up a little bit and I'm making them five and a half inches long they're sort of, you know, they can actually get over your wrist part here, thumb part uh, okay, that'll do, I've offered on enough thanks for watching that, hooroo